Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, you're not kidding. Oh my God. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Weekly Dirt. The Weekly Dirt is a weekly series that brings you some incredible finds from all over the world from videos in, within our metal detecting community. DK has the week off. My name is Tony, I'm from 5280 Adventures and I'm gonna be your special guest host for this episode. In this episode, we're gonna have some bucket list finds and I'm gonna introduce you to some fantastic channels and make sure you stick with me so I can tell you about some incredible giveaways that are coming up a little bit later. Hey, just a reminder, if you guys wanna end your week every Sunday with the Weekly Dirt, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and make sure that you click on that bell for notification and you won't miss any episodes. So are you ready? Let's dive right into the videos and see what we've got this week for you. The first episode here is gonna be from a channel that we've had on, the, on this series before, Quarter Hoarder. Jason's been out digging at some incredible sites so far in 2019 and this particular episode is, did not disappoint. He's on some great, great things. Quarter Hoarder, Make sure you check this one out. Now, Leroy's got something. Leroy put on a monster coil. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, it's fishing them out. There it is. Nice job, Leroy. 1942. Nice flat button there. Up in the front of the house, it looks like it says, you see some letters there above, Arkson, I think Arkson or something, you see it right above the shank, I'm not sure, just a plain front, but the first flat button of the day, I'll take it, we'll clean it up, and uh, hey, I'm happy to have it, got a little bit of everything, so first button, it's about time. Oh yeah, wow, how, it was way at the bottom, Doug? Yep. Oh my goodness, that is really deep. It was showing eight to 10 inches. 1952, I can see it in the and plug. Good, good. 1950, is that where it was in the plug when you yeah. flipped it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you haven't removed it yet? No, no. It hasn't no. touched human hands. Yeah. Except the person that dropped it. There it is. 1952, that's the third silver quarter of the day. Yep, yeah. all Washington's. Yeah, and we were really over this area too. Yeah, we were really, we were really over that area. I mean, it was. It looks like there it was it is, about right nine there. inches deep. That is deep. Is it quarter? Yeah, another we, Washington. We hammered here. I've been over it. Uh, oh, yeah. Fifty-two. 52. It's incredible. It had man. to be screaming. It was. He said it he. Was, I was I over there digging something. He said, "Oh, I got a 90 and I'm thinking, "Oh, we already hit that spot. It's got to be a can." <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, Hey, congratulations, man. I think that's Good like 11 job. or 12 silvers in the day. Yeah. Just Leroy's got a big copper. I'm in the shade, so hopefully I can see it. Oh. Yeah, 1787. That's a New Jersey State copper, Doug. That's what I said. What did I say? It's a it New Jersey like a State, State copper. copper. There's the shield, Doug. And come look. look. Clear come is. look, Doug, in my camera. There's the shield. Can you see it? Yes. It's faint. Leroy, can yes. you see it? It's your coin. I'm not even showing Leroy. Yeah. And then when you flip shield. it, yeah. you can see the horse's head at the top. You can see everything. Oh, look at that. Look at the detail on that. Oh my goodness, Leroy, that's incredible. That's better than Newbie McNuberson's. Uh, uh, Absolutely. Especially the reverse there. Nova Cesari, which I think Cesari is. Uh, is Jersey. Is, is, uh, yeah, it means New Jersey in, yeah. uh, in Latin. Man, that's a beauty. Paul's going to be really jealous. I don't know where Paul is. Well, I can't believe you found this and then you walked away from that spot. I know where the spot is. <laughs> that's a beautiful coin, He man. said it was about four inches down. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. What else can you ask for in a hunt? You've got silver coins. You've got tons of friends. And the biggest one to me, 1787 New Jersey State Copper insane definitely one of my bucket listers i know jason's uh found one of those before but absolutely insane uh relic for you to be able to find 
beautiful, beautiful site, quarter hoarder. That was just an incredible, incredible hunt. Make sure you guys go over and watch the rest of that video. There's lots more that I couldn't include in this particular clip, but you're not going to want to miss out on that one. Jason quarter hoarder did a fantastic job. Congrats to you, buddy. Great, great job. Let's move on to the next one. We're going to head right over now to Civil War Unearthed. This channel is incredible. Uh, this particular video uh, is an actual collaboration with Miss Detectorist, and the two of them were on a fantastic site, an amazing cornfield, and they were able to pull out some awesome, awesome finds. You're not going to want to miss this one. Civil War Unearthed coming at you right now. Check it out. Civil War Unearthed. All right, so I'm out here today with Riley, Richard, and Chuck, and we are at a beautiful field that was just tilled. Um, it's Colonial Home Site. There should be some Civil War relics here, some Colonial relics, uh, as well as I hear there's arrowheads everywhere, so uh, should be cool. Riley just found a piece of earthenware right in the driveway here, so should be awesome. We'll see what we can find. So Richard just dug an eagle eye. Let's see it. Back's pushed in a little bit. Oh, I can't even get my camera to focus. There we go. Wow. Let me see the front again. Wow. Look at that. That's awesome. Thank you. Good find, Richard. Congratulations. That's cool. <laughs> Look what he just dug. Oh, my goodness. That's like an 1812 sweet. Navy. Yep. At That's least sweet. 1812. Man. That's crazy. Sam took care of it, didn't Hey, 41. Right. 43. Really? <laughs> oh my god, that's freaking awesome. Okay, so so our last hole, my last hole, it was like a 20 and it was pretty jumpy and it was like right on the surface. So I kicked it to amazing. see if I could swing evenly um, and I lost it. I was like, oh, what? Is it like a nail or something? And uh, it's not a nail. <laughs> not at all. Um, Riley just like threw it. <laughs> Where uh, even is it? <laughs> it's right there. Right oh there. my See god, it? oh my god. No, 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 don't rub it, don't rub it. We just have to put water on it. Oh my god. Don't touch, careful. I'm just gonna brush it first. Let's just pour water on it. No, oh no, no. my god, look at that. Oh my god. That's pisserine. Dad, she did it. <laughs> she dug a real. <laughs> a two real pisserine. <laughs> cut, Silver. It's cut. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Well, that was worth your trip down here. That's freaking sick. That's insane. That's gonna be like that was right on the silver. That it's right. Be like that was like right on the surface. It was literally on top. That is so freaking providential. I'm, I doubt the rest of the pieces are in there, right? No. Oh my god. We have to pour water on it. Yeah, let's go get Let's go wash that up. I mean, I'm Can I just swing around this real quick? Yeah. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for everybody here. It's cool to be here. What you digging? That's my that's first. Really that's my cool. first uh, yeah. old silver. Check this out, guys. Richard just dug. No, he dug it. Richard just dug a nice one-piece Virginia button. Look at that. Oh man, that is so sweet. Dang. <laughs> that's too cool. Who's that back to? Like 1820s. It's got a nice back mark too. Does it? Yeah, it's clear. I can already see it. That's sweet, man. Wow, that's Congrats. awesome. That's awesome, man. Love it. Well, I tell you what, Civil War Unearth and Miss Detectorist, you had a fantastic hunt. You're onto a Civil War I button. You've got a possibly an, a War of 1812 button. That incredible Spanish cut silver. Holy cow. Uh, what an incredible, incredible hunt. Thank you so much for sharing that. Civil War Unearth, Miss Detectorist. Make sure that you check out both of those channels. The link is in the description below. Civil War Unearth, Miss Detectorist, amazing. Amazing job. Great job, guys. Thank you so much for sharing. All right, let's get over to clip number three now. New Hampshire Beach Metal Detecting. You're up now. 
Talk about an insane video here. Wait till you guys see this. New Hampshire Beach Metal Detecting came across an absolutely amazing, amazing piece of jewelry. You're not going to want to miss this one. This is a find of a lifetime. New Hampshire Beach Metal Detecting coming up right now. Check it out. The 12, it's like a nickel. Buffalo nickel, right on top of the ground. Coming up a solid 11. Oh, 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 oh you gotta be kidding. Oh, you're not kidding. Oh my God, you're not kidding. Oh, sweet. Look at that beauty. Oh my freaking God. Oh my freaking God. You're gotta be, oh no, that's not real. Oh my God, oh my God, that's platinum. It's plat. Wow, look at that ring. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Came back to the car, I had to come back. I, 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 I just crapped myself. Oh my, oh my word. That thing's got, it's got prongs in it to hold it on somebody's finger that's worth that much. It says plat, I can't, I don't have any uh, my, magnifying glasses in this car or loops or anything. That is a heavy, heavy ring. And there's a diamond on each side too. And I'm spitting all over the place. Look at the size of that stone. That is a sweet ring heavy engagement ring I'm going back out there in a few minutes Wow that's got to be one of my best finds ever you guys and the Equinox scored it well we'll go back out I gotta settle down for a minute that really that shook me that's a find that will shake you Wow um, but the find of the day, you guys, and you know it lurks down in there. I got a beauty, and to me, this is worthy of a premiere video. Incredible find. It's a platinum engagement ring. It's got a diamond on each side, and then it's got a main stone in the middle, and it's big. And it is a heavy, heavy ring. It's marked plat. We'll weigh this. See what we got for a weight, and then we're gonna test it, see if it's real. So, but by judging by the looks of this ring, I, I think I'm pretty sure it's real. So we got 10 grams of pure platinum. Now we're gonna test this stone. We're gonna turn this diamond tester on, and you want to get one that tests diamonds and it tests moissanite. Now, if this was glass or a CZ, this thing wouldn't react. If it was moissanite, it would turn purple. If it's diamond, it will turn, it's gonna turn green. I like to wet the tip. Then we're gonna put, I'm gonna put you down here and we're gonna test this. See what we got. Oop, I slipped. Let me hit it again. Oh, that looks like a diamond to me, you guys. Sweet. Oh yeah, diamond. Are you kidding me? Check out the size of that ring. Platinum ring, platinum engagement ring. Absolutely insane. Beautiful, beautiful arrangement there. You've got that large diamond on there. New Hampshire Beach Metal Detecting. Unbelievable find. Find of a lifetime. Absolutely incredible. Uh, very, very nice ring there. Uh, great, great find. That's an awesome, awesome beach to be on. I bet you're going to do a lot more detecting out there. New Hampshire Beach Metal Detecting. Make sure you guys go watch the rest of that video. Uh, you found a lot more rings, a lot more jewelry, and it was just an incredible episode for you to watch on that one. New Hampshire Beach Metal Detecting. Descriptions down below. Don't miss it out. I've got one more clip for you. Let's head over and, and check out Swing in the Free State. Swing in the Free State had an incredible week this week. He was out with his girlfriend. They were hunting in some farm fields. They came across Barber Coin. They came across IHP and an incredible, incredible dime that you're not going to miss out here. Check out this one. Swing in the Free State coming at you right here. Swing in the Free State. 
All right, guys, I took off the headphones. I think I got an Indian head penny here. I'll live dig it. Listen to all that iron. And then... See, all that iron's around it. Those are Indian numbers. Let's dig it up. Good this is going to be, but I'm going to find out here. Completely botched live dig, but... There it is, it's an Indian. I didn't pick it up, I just popped it out of the wall. At least I think it's an Indian. Oh yeah, that's an Indian, all right. What, what kind of date we got? 19, oh, oh, 1900, I already dug a 1900 today, but that's cool, because I'll take an Indian any way they come. Awesome, I'm gonna keep going. All right, guys, I'm pretty dang happy. I was telling you earlier how I wanted a silver today, and I was getting a 25 signal on the Knox, which is usually like the lower number for worn silver, because silver dimes are usually 26, 27. Um, but I flipped up the dirt, and uh, I saw a shiny clod rolling, and I seriously just saw that. So that's a dirt clod. That's awesome. Let's pop this. 1912, all right. No one, oh, popped it out. I already got a picture of it. One dime, mint mark, no mint mark, 1912 Barber dime. I will take that. I am super excited now, guys. All right, we're gonna keep going. Small coils are great. And I was getting a weird signal and out popped um, a silver dime. And that is not the signal that I was getting. So this is a coin spill with a dime and a nickel. See, because I saw that and I was like, wait a minute, and I rubbed it. I was like, uh oh. So I think there's an Indian in there because this was this was coming up weird. Now it's coming up 27. So all right, I'm gonna knock the dirt off here. Uh, it didn't really help me any. Um, what is this? I'm thinking of oh, there's the wreath. Oh, that's an old wreath. Is this my first seeded for the year? Oh boy. Oh, this is, it's my first seeded of the year. Yes. Oh my God, yes, it's seeded. I can tell it's seeded just by that old wreath. Oh, oh heck yes. All right, I'm gonna clean this up. Got some water on it and it is an 1883. But look at the back, it's worn weird. Like one dime is worn off. That back is smooth. Full Liberty in the shield though. Wow, first seeded of the year. I always find these 1880s, and this is also my first, you know, uh, of this design. Last year, all the seeded I found were um, like the pre-Civil War, like the 1840s and 50s kind. So I'm happy with this, I'm real happy. But uh, if you see on the back here, there's some weird stainage. I think it's because there's yet another coin in the hole. So I'm gonna go back up there. You have got to be kidding me. What an incredible hunt to be able to find some old, old coins in that field. Absolutely amazing. Swing in the free state. You knocked it out of the park with that one. Seated dime. Uh, great, great location. Great permission. You're going to want to be back out there digging that one for sure. Swing in the free state. Thank you so much. Great, great week. Make sure you guys go watch the rest of that video. Swing in the free state. It's that time. My favorite time of the episode. It's time for announcements. announcements. You're not gonna to wanna to miss out on this one. Jersey History Hunters are doing a 700 subscriber giveaway. Jersey History Hunters, head over to the Jersey History Hunter channel. Make sure you get signed up for that giveaway and make sure that you tell them that you saw them on the Weekly Dirt. All right, we got a good one here. Little John MD. Little John is doing a coin giveaway. That's right. Make sure that you head over to Little John MD, get in on that giveaway, and I hopefully you can win some really, really cool coins. Little John MD. We've got one more quick one. This ends tomorrow. Make sure that you guys get over to Coin and Card Hobbyist. Amanda's doing a Sunday giveaway where she's giving away a pretty cool silver coin. Make sure you head over to Coin and Card Hobbyist. That one's ending quick, so make sure that you don't miss it on that giveaway. And make sure that you let her know that you saw this on The Weekly Dirt. 
All right, that's going to do it for this week of the Weekly Dirt. If you like what you saw, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button right here. If you want to continue watching, make sure that you check on this video that I chose for you, and this one right here is the one that YouTube picked for you as well. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you next week on Sunday. Sunday.